Welcome to a video looking at the Law of Diminishing Returns. So what is the Law of Diminishing Returns? Well, it's a theory of short-run production. And it states that as more and more units of a variable input, such as labour, are added to a fixed input, such as capital, after a certain point, then the marginal product of the variable input will begin to decrease. In other words, the additional output, the extra output produced by adding more labour, will start to fall ceteris paribus, with all other factors remaining constant. So let's take a, a hypothetical situation, a farm that cultivates wheat, and we're adding more labour to the production process. And on the chart here on the table, we look at the impact of adding more labour to the total output of wheat. We assume that the farm has a fixed input of land and capital, such as machinery and buildings. The only variable input is labour. And as we add more labour, you can see output goes up from 0 to 10 to 25 to 40. In other words, we can work out the marginal product of adding extra labour. The first unit of labour adds 10 units of wheat. The second unit of labour takes our output to 25, so that adds 15. And likewise, the third unit of labour also adds 15 units to production. However, after a certain point, in this case the fourth unit of labour, the total output starts to increase at a diminishing rate. It's still going up, but as you can see, if we add the fourth unit of labour, our output rises from 40 to 50, uh, well, that's 10 extra units. Adding the, uh, the, the fifth unit of labour only adds five units to output. Adding the sixth labour input only increases output by two bushels of wheat. Therefore, once marginal product starts to decline after a certain point as the for example the fixed input of land and capital becomes increasingly overburdened by additional labor units then we get diminishing returns now how does diminishing returns affect marginal cost of supply well the concept of diminishing returns is really closely related to the marginal cost of supply which is the change in total costs when you increase your output by one unit the basic rule is as follows. As diminishing returns set in, as the marginal product of labour falls, then the marginal cost of supply will go up. And this is because to produce more output, the supplier, the manufacturer, the farmer in our case, needs to add more of the variable input, which becomes less productive as more of it is uh, added. So there we go. Uh, a quick look at the law of diminishing returns.